So right now it's about 7.15, which is four hours after I arrived in Seattle. And for the past four hours, I went to take my uh, Polaroid camera, which I also bring with me on this trip. And I also met my middle school friend. Uh, we haven't met for four years and we went to the same middle school as the uh, Vancouver guys. Like we all went to the same middle school. But uh, right now, I'm gonna get some food before start going to the airport and fly to... <coughs> So I just landed in Fairbanks and it's 3.30 in the morning Fairbanks time so it's like 4.30 in Seattle or 6.30 in or 7.30 in New York I'm, I don't remember the New York time you know, like when you have to wake up in the middle of the night because the fly is overnight so I uh, feel a little bit tired so I think I'm gonna get some sleep for a while Two hours later What's going on everyone? As you guys can tell, my face look kind of sleepy. So, got my bread and got my Starbucks. So, uh, okay. I got a mocha. It's hot, so that's good because it's... I Trust me, it's really hard to move your head when you dress up in so many layers. It's negative something outside. Let me see. Get a 22. So it's like... I don't know, one Fahrenheit, two Fahrenheit, or somewhere like that. So yeah, it's it's really cold, like legit cold. So uh, so if you guys want to see, so it's Fairbanks, and uh, it's yeah, you saw it, negative twenty-two degrees Celsius, fifteen degrees Celsius, negative and then feel like negative 22 so um yeah hopefully things going well the trip going well and uh yeah ever in the history of my life I submerged myself into negative 22 degrees holy crap <coughs> it's really cold <coughs> and I just uh, use a calculator actually zero Fahrenheit at just negative 17 this is negative 22 so I guess it's like negative 2 or negative 1 or negative 3 Fahrenheit. So, uh, oh my god. If you guys can see the smoke coming out of my mouth. Yeah, 
like all of that ice that all of the ice like snow and ice and uh, yeah really cold arrivals huh. really really cold yeah, I guess that when I get to the Arctic Circle which is the trip that I'm gonna do in a few hours uh, it's gonna be colder because I think in a vast area without like tree coverage there will be a lot of wind so uh, yeah right now I'm gonna take the taxi to the other side of the uh, airport because you cannot pass through the runway like there unless you want to be different which I don't recommend in any way no way I have to make a detour and the um, travel company is on the other side of the airport so uh yeah okay see you guys up there so i'm on the bus right now we haven't gone yet but as you guys can see all of the all of the snow there's a lot of snow and it i think it's still negative 15 or something like that hopefully it will not get too cold and hopefully they will stop on the way for us to uh take the pictures of the uh, Aurora on Northern Lights, so uh, yeah. So uh, gonna eat now and uh, yeah. So we're now in Yukon River and you guys probably all know about the Yukon River, the Gold Rush. If you watch like Discovery or National Geographic, you probably like watched the show Gold Rush or something back then. And uh, yeah, we're right now in uh, the Yukon River, about like 60 miles, I guess from the arctic circle 
and after this we're gonna go to the Arctic Circle okay so dear all my Vietnamese fellows dear the population of the world and dear whoever's watching this video I'm right now walking on the Yukon River like this is the entire frozen river and I'm walking on it <sighs> the gold rush back in like the late 19th centuries if I'm sure not sure if I'm tip number one never listen to Jerry's history knowledge I'm not really familiar with the history like the tour guide talk about it on the bus but it was so long like and I also sleep a little bit on the way but uh, yeah like this is all snow like like the entire river snow like completely blanketed in snow like I don't know it just it just kind of like the moment of history like sitting on the Yukon River like I've never thought about sitting on a Yukon River well my butt starts getting cold so I'm not gonna sit oh my god it's cold my butt is cold ah anyway I will go to back to Anchorage tomorrow so yeah just basically I want to discover Alaska like the last frontier of America and like into the wilderness So we're now in the Arctic Circle. Uh, I just got my uh, certificate that it's hard to show you guys because I also hold like a hot coffee. Well, it's hot, but it hot it's hot for like three seconds. Like it was super hot for three seconds, and then like because outside, I think it's right now it's 15 Fahrenheit, so it's like negative 10 or something like that in Celsius. So it like the temperature of the coffee, like the the chocolate drops right away so uh, yeah but do feel cool I uh, shoot some b-roll to show you guys what the Arctic Circle look like and I also shoot a film like I brought my film camera with me and I was so happy that I did it and um, yeah it, it, it's something that you can keep like as a memory for a really really long time so uh, yeah enjoy some coffee and uh, Head back to the Yukon River for dinner and we're gonna hunt for the Aurora or the Northern Lights tonight. So, uh, see you then. Well, because pretty much the Arctic Circle is just a sign. There's nothing much, like, it's just trees and stuff like that. So, um, yeah.